Okay, y'all, let me talk to you briefly about wire racks and why we need them in our kitchen. This this is three different versions I wanna share with you. So let me unstack them first. And then I wanna show you about each one of them exclusively. This is a standard half sheet pan wire rack. It actually sits inside. Let me grab a sheet pan. It sits inside the sheet pan. Okay, and you can use this wire rack inside of the oven. It's made of um, stainless steel, aluminum, but they are oven safe. And so you can put bacon on here. I roasted chicken on here. I spatchcocked a turkey on here. I, I've done all kinds of meats and vegetables on here. They are a great way to cook. And the purpose of the rack is so that the heat is evenly distributed, distributed and that the air gets under the food, so that the air gets under the food through these little holes, through this little grid. It's the same thing applies to this being my cookie sheet. After I bake cookies off of my cookie sheet, I place them on this rack without the sheet pan to cool. So I have, have so many of these things. I have all of these racks and I have all my cookies lined up and the same thing is happening. The air is getting up under the cookies and it's cooling them completely. I do the same thing with my cakes and things, but mostly for my cakes, I use a round wire rack. And I use a round wire rack because this one is light. This one doesn't go in the oven. But what this one does for me, what this one does for me, it allows me to flip my cake. So if my cake, let's say I could cook the bunt cake and the cake is in the pan after I take it out of the oven and after about five or 10 minutes, I've got to flip it over so that that cake can cool completely. So I place this on top of the bunt pan and then I flip the bunt over and it lays on this rack. Same thing, the air gets underneath the cake and it's cooling the cake completely. And this one, this one, this one folds up and can just go in your cabinet. This one was one I got when I, I've had this one for I don't know how many years, y'all. This one I got when I was like first married. <laughs> so this one is romantic. And it's like three levels, three layers. And I, I, I use this one for cooks, cookies and cakes and uh, brownies and things like that. But it'll fold all the way out like so. And the same thing is happening. The air is getting underneath it and it is cooling it. I am telling you that wire racks, particularly the one that fits inside the sheet pan, and it fit, they have a rack for all sizes of sheet pans, you need to have these in your kitchen arsenal. They are perfect for cooking, for baking, for cooling, for roasting. They are perfect. They serve a valuable purpose for us in the kitchen, y'all. And I want to encourage you to get you one. You don't have to run out and buy a whole store full of them, but I want to encourage you as you're out and about and as you're thinking about the things that you need in your kitchen, your kitchen must-haves, make sure you have a wire rack that will sheet fit inside a half sheet pan because you also need a half sheet pan. So let me show you that one one more time. Make sure you... Make sure that you got the right one, okay? Because the other two are fancy. This is the one you want. Okay. And if you have a quarter sheet pan, there's one that fits inside a quarter sheet pan also. But this serves as a rack that you can put in the oven. It also serves as a cooling rack. So you can cook on it, you can roast on it, and you can bake on it. You can bake your cookies on it, and you can also take your cookies out, out of the oven and lay them on here to cool completely. So this rack is critical for your oven, for your kitchen needs, for your cooking needs. And I want to encourage you to put this on your list of things to get wire racks. These are the best ones and they work y'all. Okay. So that's all I have for this video. I try to keep these videos kind of short and brief and to the point because I know your time is busy and I appreciate you coming on here listening to me. I want to share basic tips and I hope that that message gets across to you. I want to share basic stuff that the beginner cook may not know. You're just not starting in the kitchen. You're newly married or you're newly staying together or whatever and you need to learn some basic things and that's what my channel is about. 
And then uh, as you mature in your cooking, then you can go through, do some of that more elaborate stuff. But until you get the basics down, baby, ain't no sense to try that stuff. Don't even try that stuff until you understand. I think you need to understand why you do what you do in the kitchen. Because when you understand why you do what you do, you can always figure out a way to eat you some good food and prepare you some good food because you understand what you're doing. Understand this. You can cook on this. You can roast on this. You can bake on this and you can cool on a wire rack. I'm Val Taylor and I'll see y'all on the next video.